Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to our reading review. As we get started, I want to read a story to you to begin. This story is called Move. What sound do you hear at the beginning of Move? Mm, and what letter makes that sound? M. Move. It is written by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Steve Jenkins is the author. What does the author do in a story? Writes the words and... and uh, Robin Page is the illustrator. What does an illustrator do? Draws the pictures. So let's look at this one. Animals move in different ways. A gibbon swings through the jungle trees. Can you swing like a gibbon? Or walks on two back legs. A jacana walks on floating lily pads, then dives in to catch a fish. And it says dive. A blue whale dives deep, 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 and swims below the ocean waves. Swim. An armadillo swims across a stream. And when startled, leaps straight up. Leap. Can you leap? A crocodile leaps to snag its meal. And after slithering silently into the water, a snake slithers through rustling leaves. Can you slither, slither? And climbs up into a tree. A praying mantis climbs a blade of grass. Can you climb? Then it spreads its wings and flies. A roadrunner flies, but not too far. Can you pretend to fly? It would rather run to catch its prey, and an arctic hare runs across the ground. Can you run? Then dances, tumbling with its mate. A jumping spider dances to impress. Can you dance? Nice moves. Then floats away on a thread of silk. Float. A polar bear floats in dark, icy water. And slides down a snow-covered hill. A penguin slides, splash, into the sea. Slide and waddles with its colony. Waddle. Waddle, slide, float, dance, run, fly, climb, slither, leap, swim, dive, walk, swing. Animals move in different ways. How about you? Move. What are some ways that you can move? I like to dance or run, and I like to, hmm, what else? Babies can crawl. Yeah, there are lots of different ways that our bodies can move. Let's go ahead and look over here. We're going to be talking about some other moving words. I'm going to say parts of the word, and I want you to put it together and make the word, then try to find it on this picture. So let's look. One of the words is j-ump. Jump. Do you see anything that is jumping in this picture? Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, that horse is jumping over the fence. I see some fish jumping out of the water and a frog jumping off of a lily pad. The next word is run. Run. Do you see anything that is running? Well, I think maybe this dog might be running. Yeah. The next word is walk. Do you see anything that is on a walk? Yeah, I think that these girls are on a walk. Mm -hmm. What about hop? Hop. Do you see anything that is hopping? Oh, this bunny is hopping. It has its hopping lines right there. Those are some fun moving words, just like our story that we read called Move. 
Good job, kindergartners. Now let's look at the next one. Oh, this is a sentence. Let's look at this sentence together. Together, It says, this rabbit sits on a log. How many words are in this sentence? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six words in the sentence, this rabbit sits on a log. Let's look down here at this letter. This is a sight word that we need to know. It is the sight word A. That's right. Do you see the word A in this sentence? I do too, right here. Let's read this again, and I want you to say the sight word A. Ready? This rabbit sits on a log. Good, kindergartners. You guys are learning to read, and that is amazing. Now, this week, we were looking at the letter C. The letter C. What sound does the letter C make? K. I'm going to say the words of these pictures. I want you to be listening for the beginning sound of C. K. All right. So, I have a carrot, cup, cake, hat, net, corn, can. What sound do you hear at the beginning of carrot? K. And what letter makes that sound? The letter C. What sound do you hear at the beginning of cup? K. And what letter makes that sound? The letter C. What sound do you hear at the beginning of hat? What letter makes that sound? The letter H. Now, I'm going to write a, an uppercase H. What about cake? What do you hear at the beginning of cake? K. And what letter makes that sound? C. What about net? Mmm. What letter makes the mmm sound? The letter N. What about corn? What letter makes the cut sound? C. And what about can? K. And what letter makes the cut sound? C. Good job, kindergarten. Okay, we're moving right along. We have a lot of stuff to cover today. Oh, this is our move story. Can you retell this story for me? Do you remember what happened? What did this guy do? Yeah, did he swing from the trees, I think, and then he walked? Uh -huh. And what about this guy? He walked on the lily pads and then he flew, that's right. What about the rabbit? What did the rabbit do? I don't even know if I remember. I think he, did he jump? Did he bounce? Mm, I don't remember. Ooh, what about the penguin? What did the penguin do? Did it dive or leap into the water and then it waddled, right? Yeah, that's what it did. All right, my friends, we are done with that. I have one more story to read to you before we say goodbye. And this is a um, folk tale. And a folk tale is something where we kind of learn something. So this is called the hare and the tortoise. Hare was always bragging. Wait, who is hare? He's the rabbit. That's another word for rabbit. Hare was always bragging. I am the fastest animal in the forest, Hare said. No one is faster than me. You may be fast, Tortoise said, but I can beat you in a race. <gasps> Who's the tortoise? The turtle. So who are the characters in our story right now? Hare and Tortoise. They are our characters. They're what the story is about. You cannot beat me, laughed Hare. You're the slowest animal in the whole forest. <gasps> Wait a minute. Where is our setting for this story? Where are tortoise and hare? They're in the forest. That is our setting. So our characters are tortoise and hare, and our setting is the forest. They had a race. At first, hare ran very fast. Tortoise was far behind him. What a silly animal that tortoise is, Hare said. He could never beat me in a race. Do you think that tortoise could beat Hare in a race? I don't know. Let's see. Then Hare sat down beside a big tree. 
I will stop here and take a rest, Hare said. Hare closed his eyes and fell fast asleep. Oh no, what do you think is going to happen? Hare is asleep. Do you think Tortoise is still in the race? I think he is. Tortoise walked and walked. He never stopped. After a while, he passed Hare. All the animals in the forest cheered for Tortoise, and Hare woke up. Hare looked behind him. Tortoise is so slow that I still can't see him, Hare laughed. <gasps> is Tortoise still behind Hare? Then Hare looked toward the finish line. <gasps> there was Tortoise. Oh my goodness. Hare ran as fast as he could, but it was too late. The slow and steady Tortoise had won the race. <gasps> wow, what did we learn in that tale? We learned that working hard can sometimes pay off. It will pay off if you work hard. Tortoise, he kept working hard and doing his best and he won the race. Hare, he got kind of lazy. He laid down by the tree and when he should have been working, he was taking a nap. Fat Hare, and he didn't win the race. All right, kindergartners, thank you so much for coming to our reading review. It was good to see you and I will see you next time. Bye.